Hey, here's Nick Linux back again today. Today we have Bridge Linux. Yes, Bridge Linux. It's another Arch Linux distribution based distro. Okay, so it's pre configured Arch, so you don't got to do all the fiddling around basically for yourselves. I'm only going to give you a quick look at it, but it seems to run okay as far as I'm concerned. So far, so good. Hunkily of the Dory. All the usual up here. Lovely, jubbly. We have my exit menu. Yeah, lovely. And my XFC menu up here. It does come with another desktop as well, and I can't remember actually remember what one it was. I'll about that now. And this is basically what you get. Bearing in mind it's XFCE, so you get Run Program, Terminal Emulator, a File Manager, Mail Reader, and a Web Browser. You get your settings, all be there, baby. It'll all be there. It's all XFC. I've not added anything to this distribution, by the way. I'll show you that little readme in a minute, and then you'll see what I mean. So I've not actually updated the thing yet, and you do really need to update it, really. But I just wanted to do the video quickly, so I can get it out later on. So, usual here for XFCE, that's what it says on the Latin. I'll open up the readme for you. Once you install, it tells you all what to do. So please read this first before you do anything else. So to run all this stuff, you run sudo pacman syy, which I'll try to use pacman, and use the packer as well. Then install your codex, which is gstreamer 10s, pacman for your flash plugin, and your Java runtime, and you will have to restart. Right, it can actually run with old with a UEFI system, okay? Mm, as I'm not using one, it doesn't actually appeal to me or do anything for me. But you can do plenty here. So please read this as soon as you install it and do what it says. Then you'll be all lovely. Okay, Chromium is your default browser, by the way. I forgot to tell you that bit. Back to menu. <coughs> Accessories. It's going to be user accessory. Nothing's going to be new here. But if you want to use Arch, you might want to use this one instead of Manjaro. Or you know, run both. See what you, see what you think. You, know? you might like both of them. Under the moment, it's there. Jar stuff. Graphics, you do get Gimpy and you do get Shotwell. Okay, now we'll see what version of Gimpage we're going to be using here. If you have a second, it's 2.8, but I bet it won't run in a single window. I thought that was the whole idea right, of using a single window. But hey, who am I to complain or say anything? Now, of course, there's no wobbly windows here like we did earlier. Okay, but yeah, you can install that if you so wish to do so. Okay, this is the first time I've run Gimpy, by the way, so it's a bit longer. There you go. Free window system, never yeah, mind. Too bad. Okay. That's it. Graphics had to be. And the internet. Alright, Chromium is your default browser, as you can see. You get Thunderbird and Transmission as well. Transmission Torrents, if you actually use them. You get an audio mixer, Dead Beef for your player, and XF Burn for burning discs, DVD, or CDs. But under Office, you do get Abbey Word and you do get Genomeric as standard, so that's nice. We'll open up Genomeric to see what one it is. It's going to be the newest one. Lovely. It does what it says on the tin. Always does, do you know? I've never had a problem with it. Never, ever in a million, million, trillion years. Okay. Under other, you get your post install script. Okay, that's fine. Under system, bulk renamer, deconf editor, gparted, sensor manager, a task manager. I'll open up. Shall I open up? No, I'm not going to open it up because it's not using anything at all. And the terminator and a thunar file manager. And you've got about XFC, so I'll quickly go in there. It's 4.10, so you can configure it to your heart's content. Right. I've not really used it too much because it just runs and installs nice. There's not much to say about it, really. But if you want to use something that uses Arch as a base, you don't want to go with any others like Debian or Ubuntu or whatever or part, give it a go. You may like it, okay? Only a short video. I'm going to rate it. It's pretty good. 86. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.